to maybe play on my account, maybe? I cannot answer that question on stream. <laughs> oh my god, it's Whippo! Would you ever want to do OQ with me? In ARAM? Like... Yeah, it's good for me right now, but I have a feeling that yeah. Freak won't allow this for long. <laughs> Thank you. Really nice to meet you. That's why I all open to you. Happy birthday, dear Harry! What's going on between you and Tenacity? He's a hard man. What can I say? <laughs> It's just a hard time right now, so, you know, yeah. it, this is just a petition for Riot to buff jungle. Buff jungle, guys. Yeah, they're all complaining about it. That bro is weak. <laughs> you like Art Deco? Shut the f*** up, okay? I mean, it feels really great to me that, you know, a lot of fans still want to see me perform. Do you think you're responsible for Yumi getting nerfed to the ground? I mean, you're welcome, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that was a trick question, Jensen, and you failed. These Stupid guy. Yeah. The enemy team was talking trash in old chats. Oh. oh, what the heck? Oh, no, he did him like that. I've heard some things about Huhi and how he's gotten meaner. You no, know, he used to be known as a nice guy. Not pointing any fingers at 100 Thieves or anything, but. <laughs> <laughs> so who do you think is the most overhyped player this season? Double lift. Oh! <laughs> I agree with Fletcher. Oh! <laughs> Jojo gets carried pretty hard. Crazy overrated player. The first thing I gotta say is that uh, they need to find a new jungler because uh, I think Pyoshik is going back to Korea. I, I get that, you know, it's LCS and he's not too good, so it's kind of hype for him. I love this. I love this game. I love this community. I love our pro players. And I love that every time they face off, it's something deeply personal. We get these rivalries, these stories built up around our teams. But their stories are different. Do they come in the favorites? A pristine, seemingly flawless god of the rift striking down any foe that comes in their path? Or are they the underdogs, harboring a primal ferocity that uproots preconceptions and damns expectations? Garrett, Darius, Cloud9, Golden Guardian, how will this story end? Would you bend to the light of kings that fight? Yes! They have scars! 
but they haven't crumbled because it's one thing to go unchallenged, but it's a whole other task to pull off the upset and take what was never promised to you! I love a good League of Legends story. And this one, it starts now! has ever seen, holding three domestic titles, but looking for his first in the LCS. It's River! But to find that title, he must pass through the man who owns the jungle. Three-time LCS champion and two-time MVP, Blabber! Both players having made their LCS final in their first split competing in the region. For Golden Guardians, it's the all-pro powerhouse, Gory! Across from him, the monster who launched himself into the conversation for best in his role in half the time of his rivals. Let's hear it for m &S. At support, two role-swapped superstars who have dominated their role, making his fourth finals appearance in a row, the voice of the GG faithful, it's who he! Looking to show him just how easy support is. Having won titles across two regions and two roles, it's the content king, Sven. <laughs> and in the bot lane, a battle of the eras. The NA sensation from yesteryear vying for vindication. Give it up for Stixay! His opponent, the new blood wonder king and a man that lives up to his name, your 2023 Spring MVP, Berserker! Raleigh, one more 
more time, get loud for me. Give it up for your 2023 LCS Spring Finalist, Golden Guardians and Cloud Nine.